Seeing as there's 200 Democrats running for president, there's bound to be differing opinions on how to deal with Fox News. Right? While Elizabeth Warren and Kamala Harris are avoiding Fox News like cooties, Bernie Sanders, Vermont senator and guy who uses a Walgreens bag as a briefcase, has gone for a different approach. He went on Fox and held an hour-long town hall. Millions of people every single year lose their health insurance. Now, what we're talking about, actually, is stability. That when you have a Medicare for all, it is there now and will be there in the oh, future. Senator. A show of hands of how many people get their insurance from work, private insurance, right now. How many get it from private insurance? Okay, now of those, how many are willing to transition to what the senator says, a government-run system? Wow. That had to be a shocking thing for Fox News viewers to watch, right? Turning on their TVs and seeing a crowd cheering for a socialist plan for Medicare for all. In fact, that's probably what killed your grandpa. That's what that was. <laughs> Like, you realize that's the opposite. It's the exact opposite of what Fox, newers, Fox viewers were expecting to see, right? It's like buying a ticket to see Paddington, but then you walk into the wrong theater and all of a sudden it's Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> you just be like, Mommy, why is Paddington being so mean to that lady? Be like, no, 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 you're not supposed to be seeing this. You're not supposed to be seeing this. Mommy, are we leaving? No, hold on, not yet, not yet. Hold... <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> but you see, what, what Bernie Sanders did there was interesting. Right? He didn't pander to the Fox audience. He stuck to his principles, and by the end, the audience was on his side, which ends up being good for the Democrats. Because normally, when Fox viewers hear about Medicare for all, it's stuff like, the government will only pay for your pills if you go trans. <laughs> and that's for Elizabeth Warren's point about legitimizing Fox News. Pete Buttigieg, he showed that there's not necessarily the case, right? He showed that you can do it a different way. Because the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and host of Nathan For You, he did a Fox hall... <laughs> he did a Fox town hall on Sunday. And he showed that visiting Fox doesn't have to mean that you endorse them. You know, a lot of folks in my party were critical of me for even doing this uh, with Fox News. I mean, when you got Tucker Carlson saying that immigrants make America dirty, when you've got uh, Laura Ingram comparing detention centers with children in cages to summer camps, then there is a reason why anybody has to swallow hard and think twice before participating in this media ecosystem. But I also believe that there are a lot of Americans who my party can't blame if they are ignoring our message, because they will never hear it if we don't go on and talk about it. I hope you'll join me in making sure that that next era is better than any that we've had so far. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you... Wow, a standing ovation. Right. <laughs> wow. Standing ovation. Pete Buttigieg went on Fox News, trashed their most popular anchors, and then got a standing ovation at the end. That is amazing! <laughs> that is amazing! Because... Because if someone came to your house and told you how ugly your kids were, <laughs> you'd probably be like, get the hell out of here! You wouldn't be like... <laughs> Someone had to say it. <laughs> you got a big-ass head, Billy. You got a big-ass head. Someone had to say it. <laughs> and... And it wasn't just the audience. Some reporters on Fox News actually credited Buttigieg for coming onto their network. But the kids with the big-ass heads, they weren't as happy. Mayor Pete who desperately needs a rebootage. Now, when he wasn't pushing for tax increases or lobbying lame cheap shots, he was trying to pass off political pablum as some type of high-minded oratory. Maybe we should call him Pope Pete. Because don't you love how he, you know, he, because he attends church, we're supposed to treat him as the be-all and end-all moral authority or the arbiter of who is and who is not operating in good faith. Okay. <laughs> I get that Laura Ingram is trying to dispute, but I, I don't know if she achieved that by calling him Pope. <laughs> People like the Pope. <laughs> it's not a great diss. It's like going, you know, this guy Steve is always walking around being a dick to everyone. <laughs> Let's call him Big Dick Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show him. <laughs> then everyone will know what a big throbbing dick he has. I, I mean, is. So, Laura Ingram, Tucker Carlson, and Brian Kilmeade, they were all pretty pissed with Buttigieg's star turn on Fox. But there was one Fox viewer 
who was downright heartbroken. Last night, I watched Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> What's going on with Fox, by the way? What's going on there? They're putting more Democrats on than you have Republicans. It's something strange is going on at Fox, oh, something very strange. Did you see this guy last night? I did want to watch. I, you always have to watch the competition, if you call it that. And he was knocking the hell out of Fox, and Fox has put him in. Somebody's going to have to explain the whole Fox deal to me. Oh, <laughs> Poor Trump. You realize what happened here? The news network that he loves the most flirted with a younger, hotter candidate, and... <laughs> and he's clearly shook. He's clearly shook. You heard when his voice broke? What is going on with Fox? <laughs> you know who Trump is? Trump is basically a guy scrolling through his ex's Instagram trying to act like he doesn't care. He's just like, look at this new guy. <laughs> this new guy Fox is with, what a loser. His boobs are way smaller than mine. <laughs> you know what would be funny is if I followed him totally as a prank, totally as a, oh no, I liked one of his posts. Unlike, 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 unlike. <laughs> so. Should Democrats go on Fox News or should they stay away? Look, I don't think there's one correct answer, all right? In, in many ways, you know, it's, it's just like eating an Oreo, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, 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 can, you can dunk it, you, 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 you can twist it, uh, you can lick it, you can do whatever. Just as long as you don't think it's a real estate term you should know as a part of your goddamn job! <laughs> <laughs>